Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play GeoGuessr. We've been challenged by Jay. This is a continuation of the top 50 airports in the world by busyness. And it turns out that was number one through five in the first challenge. So this is six through 10. I'm assuming in order. Chauffeur. Okay, Heathrow chauffeur. I, I would assume that we're at Heathrow. I'd like to know what terminal this is. It's Heathrow Valley Parking. Well, maybe I'll be able to find Valley Parking. It really is Valley Parking. I know where Heathrow is, so... So I'm kind of looking around. Just to kind of... One, get the terminal, but then two... Why not look around? We know where we are. We don't have to stress about the map. It's the Hotel Hapa. Take the Hoppa. Oh, sponsored by National Express. Well, it's saying to Terminal Four and Five and Terminal Two and Three, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make the assumption this is Terminal One. Today he throws to the west. There it is. He throws central. He throws terminals one, two, and three. Short stay parking terminal. Was actually Terminal Three. It kind of looks like it was this. Go around. No, I mean it went around short-term parking too. These are so confusing. Because if this is Terminals One, Two, and Three, which it is, this is Terminal Five, which it is, what the hell is Terminal Four? I wish it was labeled for the valet, but it's not. I think we're right here. No, Dr. Point. Because well, we're in the thing. We're 19 meters off. This is not a full world challenge then. I'm pretty sure 200 meters is the point for the... Oh, of course not. It's the five busiest airports, so it's going to be smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This makes me want to go to Heathrow. This looks like a United States airport. Qantas on the west coast, then. This is a seventh. Seventh? This is the seventh most business busiest airport in the United States. Some people would call that seventh. They would be wrong. Everybody knows it's 70th. I can't go that way anymore. All right, fine. I don't want to go that way. So screw you. We'll go off airport, maybe? Oh, that's where the runways are, so that's not off airport. Um. Oh, maybe this way. Nope, can't go that way. Nope, definitely can't. Okay, so we go this way. China Cargo Airlines, Aero Express. What do you think, San Diego? San Diego's pretty busy, and we've already had LAX, and we're in the West, because Qantas only flies to the West Coast of the United States. At least I think it does. Maybe it flies farther east. Lufthansa, Swiss Air. FedEx Depot. Eight four seven. I don't know what that is. Illinois Route nineteen. Quantas flies to O'Hare. I mean, I have to assume it's O'Hare, right? If it's in Illinois. 
It's Illinois Route 19. I mean, you can't get around it. It's not Midway. <laughs> um, I don't know where O'Hare is. Other than it's in Chicago. Um, I've never flown into it because I live so close to Chicago. There's no reason to fly to Chicago. You just drive. Uh, there it is. Illinois Route 19. Crazy. I think we must have been on York Road then. Doesn't look right. Oh, we were probably on Cargo Road. Yep, FedEx, Swift Transit. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, we were back like in here. Maybe we're on South Access Road. Yeah, a little farther over, but yeah. Mm, right, we were just next to UPS. Should have thought about that. All right, number eight. La Post. No. This appears to be French, so would this be Charles de Gaulle? If I'm going to just, like, jump right to conclusions. The Chronopost, Rue de Haute de Laval. I'm assuming I can't go that way. No, nope. all right, this way it is. I'm going to guess it's just... I mean, if we're talking the eighth busiest airport in the world, and that's French, it's got to be Charles de Gaulle. I can't imagine there's a busier one. Terminals 1, 2, and 3, A104, A3, Paris de Lille. Paris de Lille. I don't know why I'm zooming in over there. I wasn't paying attention. I was, I was looking over here as I'm looking at the last. Okay, Paris, Charles de Gaulle. My wife was just through there earlier this year. Um, I love that. It's the Paris. Oh, really? Is a chose de Gaulle. Airport de Paris La Bourget. A qui a franc combien? Like legit, where is Charles de Gaulle? Is that Charles de Gaulle and this has been renamed to Oh Really? And why would they rename Charles de Gaulle? Many reasons, I suppose. No, nope, they did not. I mean, none of this looks correct, but. C'est la vie! Where's Charles de Gaulle? We're on the other side of it. Should have zoomed in more, obviously. It's my bad. The ninth busiest airport in the world. Can't read any of that. We're driving on the left, apparently. Was this Hong Kong? It says China Aircraft Services Limited. But China drives on the right. We're driving on the left. So this has got to be Hong Kong. Terminal Tung Chung. Let's go to Hong Kong. Where's the airport in Hong Kong? I don't know the answer to that question. Terminal 8 West is a shipping terminal. Hong Kong Disneyland. Oh, I want to go to Disney. I may have a slight Disney problem. Check Lap Cook Airport. Maybe. I like it. It is correct. On the other side of the airport again. Check Lap Cook. That's okay. The tenth busiest airport in the world. Also Asian. It's a photosphere. I can't even walk around in it. Um, now we're gonna play the the game. Is it Japanese or Chinese? 
I'm gonna say it's Japanese. It's definitely it's not Korean. I'm gonna say it's Japanese. And you gotta figure that if the one Tokyo airport is number whatever, then the other one, which was this one, Haneda is number 10. Nope! Shanghai, it was not Japanese, it was Chinese. Very confusing. Cool. So the uh, sixth through tenth busiest airports in the world in a series of 50 that Jay is currently curating for us. Thank you so much for putting it together. If you'd like to send in your own challenge, of course, you can do exactly what Jay did, which is go to geoguesser.com. And when you're a pro member, you can create your own maps. All you got to do is send me a challenge link to the map, and I will play it. And there you have it. Thanks again, Jay, for sending it in. It was very enjoyable. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. Until next time. Cheers.